Krishna Maharaj, please welcome His Holiness Bhakti Vigyana Shrika Maharaj. Ki Jai! All glories to the assembled devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Good evening, Maharaj. Good evening. So today is a very auspicious and to this give Maharaj is being please. recorded. And uh, give us a blessing. So uh, please put on the camera like Maharaj Sibu are there. Yeah, uh, I, I've seen I, Naga, I, I can see everybody. Kai Naga, uh, video of Zoom. Kai Kai. The <laughs> Maharaj Khan Sui Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Open. I see you all. Yeah. yeah. Today, uh, very, some also uh, other guests. I don't know what's up, Maharaj. Who, who, who's this Mangala Malik? Who's this Mangala Malik? Who's Mangala Malik? from China. <laughs> Ta Ching. China. I don't know. That's ask Maharaj. 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 Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay. Maharaj, you can turn on the video if you can, Maharaj. It would be nice. My video. Turn on the video. Let. Uh, just a minute. Let me see what it's saying. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu. My baby. Hare Krishna is... Maharaj. Alex. Uh, Alex there. No, Alex. Sika is there. Hare Krishna. Sarana Subramaniam. Maharaj, your disciple. Mataji. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Who's this? Uh, you see, see in the video. Hare Krishna, Kumar. Except my humble obeisances. Yes, show the mic. Yes, you show the mic. Okay. Hare Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> I speak. I don't know who's here. Hare Krishna. Danavat Prabhna, Maharaj. Who is that? Charanam Puja. Charanam Puja. Where? Hare Krishna Maharaj, Hare. Pranam, Jolene. Jolene, Jolene, Hare Krishna. Jolene from KL. Nice to see you again, Jolene. Hare. I saw you yesterday. Cindy Hong from Singapore. Sin Cindy Hare Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Cindy. Yes, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Oh, Hare Krishna. Nice Joyce to see you. from Singapore. Long time no see. Yes, Mr. Lim, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna, remember me? Yes, yes, I remember you, of course. We're old friends. Yeah, I miss your association. Huh? We miss your association. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're missing each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very lucky tonight to be able to uh, associate with you. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit. Thank you, Alicia. Maras Kalish. Kalish Babu. Kalish, open the mic. Kalish is also here? Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mangati is Naga from Ta Ching. Mangala Malati. Mangala Malati. Yeah. Mangala Malati. Ni Dao Da Ching Ma Hai Sai Shanghai. Uh, I'm in Shanghai. You're in Shanghai, yeah? I think you're in Shanghai. Uh. And Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Madam E. Yeah, Madam E. Yeah. Madam E. Hare Krishna. Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 
And uh, Alex from KL. Alex from KL, yeah. Alex, you know, Alex, you know the sh- short guy. Yeah, yeah. Alex. 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 Rory Vishnu, Maharaj. Oh, no. nice to see many devotees, yeah. And uh, Ho, Mr. Ho from JB, you know? The Lee and Ho, together, live together. Ah, Ho, who is a Maharaj Stong Devi? Who is Then Mary. Mary. Now call Sudha Sindhu. Sindhu, Sudha Sindhu. Sudha Sindhu. Just finished it. Well, very good. And Brajalila from Singapore and Karuna. Karuna Madhuji also there. Yeah. Krishna. Yeah, yeah. Hare Krishna Karuna. Hare Krishna Brajalila. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. How is Danavir? How, he's he's how, fine. Is, is he okay? Yeah. Danavir? He's okay. He's okay. I think he's working today. He's, work- <laughs> he's got a job? He's working. Where's he working? He's uh, working uh, in, the, uh, in, in the community center doing shopping shop, for the uh, pandemic. Oh. Working for the community oh. center? Yes. You can hear me. Yes. 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 Oh. Okay. So he's okay, yeah? Um, he's doing all right. Yeah, I think, yeah he's He's okay. <laughs> Good. He's chanting. And um, uh, Miss, Mr. Tim, hey, Mr. Tim, could you a video today? Mr. Tim, Atima, could you a video? Call it Mike. Kamara, Shvishin, bless him. This is Alpha Chai's brother. New oh. devotee. Oh, new devotee, huh? Okay. Yeah. In JB, JB. You know, Fat Chai is Kudai. I mm. recommend to you. Yeah, yeah. His elder brother. Okay. Very nice. Welcome. Hong Yi Ni Lai, Gamamanichi. Hare Krishna. Oh. So, Maharaj, today, topics are can you speak about this one? Huh? I really forward you. Inspire deeper in Krishna consciousness because many of our another one is that the two, you know, Atu, Hoi Maya, this is also new devotee. Chu Chi Kyung, Chu Chi Kyung, Pong Maras, which are. Hey, 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 Moise. <laughs> Hello, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. This one is also our. This is from Kajang. Wow. Uh, he's an engineer in Hitachi factory. He joined us about a year or more. Oh, okay. Very welcome. Welcome. Very nice to have you with us. Yi Chen is a uh, Christian. You know, Christine's daughter, Yi Chen, uh, with uh, Christine, you know, Malaika. Malaika. You know, the Chinese. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yes. yeah. Ah, nice to see you. How's your mother? Yeah, she's good. Why should he come? Uh, she's having another class. Oh, oh. Ask her to come, la. This class is important, yeah. Mara Saido. Okay. Are you, are, okay. you, are you working now? You're working now? Uh, yeah, I'm working, uh, but working from home right now. Working from home. Oh, huh? lockdown. Yeah. Good. You can be at home. <laughs> Lucky. Yeah. No need to go to work. So you Who is a CMY? Please open the mic and wish Mara. Huh? See, I'm having a Yadu, 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 Yadu,
Wow. 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 So many people. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Ni hao. Han hao cho pu chen. Na? Many. I think Maharaj long time has some of you didn't see. Still, there are people are coming, but they might. After Maharaj, you just give the, you know, inspire go deep into Krishna conscious. Because many of them are with us, some are many years, Maharaj. So some might be, you know, not really moving forward. So I hope today Maharaj can inspire them, you know. <laughs> so today they can move on. <laughs> you know, now a pandemic, we are more closer. Yeah, I right. my Chinese center in Kajang, you know. Yeah. Sometimes due to weather problem, la, jam, la, then they cannot come now. But I touch we all together. So we just thanks. Thank Yeah. So Maharaj, please give us, inspire us. Okay. Om Ajnana Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksur Militanyena Tasma Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shremati Bhukti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Precharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Puschatya Deshatarine Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavan Hibyo Vaishnavibyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so very good evening to everyone. Thank you all for coming and joining us. Actually, Are you going to translate? Yeah, yeah. Because some are Chinese, they don't understand. Yeah, right. Mongol, yeah, you you Chinese. Okay, so this Krishna Consciousness movement is very special. It's very special because it gives everyone a chance to perfect the, this life. It, it gives us a chance to get free of birth and death. The material world it's not a very pleasant place. It's so much suffering in the material world. This is, this is not a real home. We have to remember we're all pure spirit souls. We should know that we are a 
We're not, we're not the body. We are souls living in a material body. We talk about my body, my leg, my head, my foot, my arm. We do not know who I am. We speak about water, we say mine, but who am I? Who is the owner of the body? Who is the owner of the leg and the arms and the head? We, we have to understand even this body is not ours, it's given to us. We're just like we take the house on rent, so we take this body on rent. We live in the house, you pay rent. The same way we live in the body, we have to pay rent. So Krishna Consciousness is a chance for us to recognize, to understand the difference between the soul and the body. So Materialistic people, they're just thinking only about the body. They never think about the soul. They take care of the body, they don't take care of the soul. So the result is they stay in the material world. They take birth again and again in the material world. The Krishna Consciousness is a chance for us to come to the Higher Consciousness. We don't want to just be like the animals. We want to be, to make good use of the human body. So we come to the Krishna Consciousness Movement, it's a chance for us to awaken that higher consciousness. So we come to so, Krishna Consciousness begins by chanting the Holy Name. When we become 
attached to Krishna consciousness, we start to chant the holy name regularly. We make it a habit. We see people we see people have so many habits. Some people their habit is to smoke cigarettes. Some people their habit is to gamble and play mahjong. Some people their habit is to watch TV. Yeah, devotees' habit is to chant Hare Krishna, to read, so to read the books about Krishna. So Krishna consciousness is already there in us. We just have to awaken it. Just like sometimes we don't want to wake up in the morning and sometimes, you know, you have to go to work and so someday maybe your wife or your husband will be calling you, come on, wake up, wake up, you've got to get up, you've got to go to work and you just want to, you just want to sleep, you just want to lay in bed and sleep, you don't want to get up. So you saw, so that person who helps who wakes us up, they're actually our friend because they know if you don't get up, you know, it's not good, you're going to lose your job, you're not going to get any, make it do any business, you're not going to make any money, so it's, it's really, it's not good. It, you've already had a good night's sleep, you have to get up, you have to go to work. So the person who wakes us up, he's our friend. <laughs> That person who wakes you up, you may be thinking, oh, he's my enemy. Why you wake me up? Let me sleep. Let me sleep. But the person saying, no, come on, you have to get up. You have to go to work. You have to do your job. So the same way, the devotee is calling us. The devotee was calling us saying, we have a program, you come and join us, we're going to have a program, we're going to have association, you come and take part. We're thinking, oh, just let me sleep, just let me sleep. But the body is saying, no, come on, you have to come, you have to take part. <laughs> Prabhupada saw in America 
sometimes a car, motor car won't start. To get the car started, sometimes you have to get out and push it. Sometimes the battery is flat, so you have to push it, you push it, and then grab, and then push it, and it gets, and then you put your foot on the accelerator, and the engine starts going. And so the same way, the same way with, okay, Maharaj, you say first. Let's say the same way with Krishna consciousness. We need to get a little pushing to get started. So that person who's pushing us, he's a real friend. He's doing us a great service. He's helping us to come out of material life. So Krishna consciousness is, in the beginning, it seems a little difficult, a little troublesome. But gradually, it becomes very natural, and we take pleasure. In the beginning, we're thinking that, oh, I could be smoking, I could be drinking, I could be gambling, but instead I'm here and I'm chanting Hare Krishna and I'm hearing about Krishna. Is it good for me? We think maybe, maybe I was happier to do the drinking and smoking. So Krishna consciousness, it seems a bit difficult in the beginning, but gradually becomes pleasure, becomes very sweet. We start to, because we start to feel the real pleasure in these activities, unlike the material world, which is so difficult. We're trying so hard to get pleasure, but there's only so much suffering. No pain, no gain, in Wenjiang. Smoking costs you money and gives you bad health. So many diseases come, it's very dirty, pollutes the air. So, so many places now, they ban smoking. You're not allowed to smoke in public places. But still people do it. Gambling. People, 
People like to gamble. Many people, they will go to Macau, to casino, to gamble. In Bangkok, in Bangkok, Thailand, every, every morning there's a bus and it takes people to the border of Cambodia where they go to gamble. Every day, so many people go to gamble and nobody wins, everybody loses. So many people, they have big hopes that I'm going to win, I'm going to make money. And they just lose. The material world is every, practically everybody's a loser here. Nobody's making any money. Nobody's successful here in this material world. And when we leave the body, we know we all have to leave the body. When we have to leave the body, you have to leave everything behind. You can take nothing with you. I just saw there was a headline there was a, a young man in Singapore, he was, he's only 28 years old and he's the chief executive officer in a, in a multinational company in Singapore. So the headline said he spent 200 and 250 million dollars to buy a penthouse apartment in Singapore. He, he, he bought it, this apartment in the most expensive, most exclusive area in Singapore. But what's he going to do with it? He's just going to eat and sleep. He's not going to get any, any get, is it going to do any good for him? And when he leaves the body, can he take it with him? He can't do anything with it, he can't, he has to leave it here. So this way the young man, he has some good karma, he has some good karma to enjoy so much opulence, but that good karma is not eternal. Karma is very temporary. Right? The Bhagavad Gita is about five topics and one of them is karma. And karma is the only one which is not eternal. All the other topics are eternal. The Supreme Lord, He's eternal, the living entity is eternal, time is eternal, 
prakriti, material nature is eternal. Only karma is not eternal. So we're all, we're all born with some karma. We have some good karma and we have some bad karma. The good karma allows us to enjoy and the bad karma brings us suffering. So Krishna consciousness is to just get rid of all this karma, get rid of the karma, get rid of the, the suffering as well as the good karma as well. We don't need it. What, what we need is devotional service. Bhakti Yoga teaches us to do devotional service and devotional service helps us to get to destroy all the karma. Krishna is saying in the Bhagavad Gita 18th chapter, he says, surrender to me. He said, I will free you from all sinful activities. Do not fear. So Krishna is offering all of us protection. We just have to take shelter of Krishna. He can he will save us from all the miseries, all the suffering of the material world. This this should be a, this should encourage all of us to take up devotional service to save us from all the problems of the material world. A devotee is happy in Krishna consciousness because he's very clear. He's very clear about what his purpose in life is and why he's here in this world. There's no problems for him. He's not, he does no anxiety. So a devotee is very optimistic about the future. He's optimistic about surrendering to Krishna. And it's very pessimistic, it's very doubtful about the material world. We can see now with this pandemic situation so many problems coming in the material world. We can see now with this pandemic situation so many problems coming in the material world. 
Srila Prabhupada warned us, he told us, he said, this materialistic way of life cannot go on forever. Very soon it will all be finished. So Srila Prabhupada encouraged us to go for a more natural way of life rather than just trying to get so much absorbed in the material energy. He encouraged us to become detached from all of this material thing. Yeah, we need to live in this world, but at the same time, we need to also cultivate our spiritual life. The train moves on two tracks, one for the material, one for the spiritual. If the tracks are not level, the train will overturn. So there has to be some balance. We have to make some time for cultivating our spiritual life along with material life. And the earlier you start, the better. Yeah, Maharaj again. We should try to start as soon as possible. The longer we wait, the more difficult it becomes. We're get, our life is not very long in this material world. We see just just two days ago one of the devotees left the body, one of my disciples, he was only fifty years old. So some people leave the body even before that, even younger than that, they, they leave the body. But there's no guarantee that we're going to live here a long time. The, but the life is very short. Any time we may have to leave. So, we should think very carefully. Just think if we're all going to die tomorrow, what would we be doing? 
Certainly we would want to chant Hare Krishna and to take shelter of Krishna. If we know we're going to leave the body, we would want to use that time to think of Krishna. A few years ago, at their temple in India, big temple in India, in Mumbai, there were many devotees. And then the building all started to shake. And then they got the news that there's a tremor and there's an earthquake. And everybody had to get out the building. So everybody got outside. They were waiting outside. It was in the night, in the evening. They were all outside and they were all chanting like anything. They said it was the best rounds they ever chanted. <laughs> So when we so when we're in difficulty, we'll all go to Krishna, we'll think of Krishna. So we can see Krishna has given us this pandemic to put all of us into anxiety, make trouble, trouble for all of us. And it's good because it's bringing us to Krishna, it's bringing us together, it's helping us to become better and more serious in our devotion. So so whatever happens, a devotee is saying, thank you Krishna, thank you Krishna, you, you're very kind, it's your mercy. Krish, sometimes Krishna gives and sometimes Krishna takes, but devotee always says, thank you Krishna. And the devotee will always take Krishna's permission before he tries to do anything. He will always say, if Krishna allows, if Krishna allows, I will do this. If Krishna allows, I will go there. We understand Krishna to be the supreme control. So we have to learn to develop this kind of consciousness, this kind of vision, seeing Krishna. Every, in everything, behind everything. So we 
失去者，我们是在他的的掌握里面。In the Bhagavad Gita, in the sixth chapter, Krishna says like that. Krishna says, "For one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost to him, nor is he ever lost to me." So we encourage all of you to think like this. Think of Krishna as the best friend, the supreme controller, and the supreme proprietor. Right. We want to depend on Krishna. We must always spread Krishna. We're so fortunate we have such a friend. He's the best friend of all of us. Other friends, they come and go. They leave us in course of time. But Krishna is with us all the time. Okay, we will stop here. We'll ask if there's some questions. Many devotees are here. I think there must be some questions. Okay. Maharaj, I got one question. That means, although we are Krishna devotee for so many years, but then theoretically, all the scriptures say, if you at the end of the day you will be happy, and somehow we are twenty, thirty years, you know, although we are not so, uh, I mean. Austere, but then still they are suffering. So there, there, there are many people asking me, you know, is it Chan Hari Krishna and be happy? But so many years I'm still not just feel the taste of happiness. Why? Actually, a lot of people they don't know what is real happiness. Do we need to translate? Are you going to translate Trivikram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maharaj, he said, many people are saying, "Sila." We're we're thinking, I'm not happy. I I didn't. We're thinking happiness to be satisfaction of the senses. We're thinking happiness means to have a lot of money. Happiness means we won't have any health problems. We're thinking happiness means uh, good material life. Is that the situation? 
我们说，我们想啊，快乐就是物质的东西，大车，啊，大房子啊，我们觉得这些就是带来给我们快乐，就是感官享受的物质的东西。But devotee, we we have to be grateful for what we've got. That's all by the grace of Krishna. By the, somehow by the grace of Krishna, you're surviving here in the material world, and you're getting regular meals, and you have a home, you have your family. Yeah, you know, sometimes people are just they don't know. When they're actually happy, they cannot understand how lucky they are to have what they've got. Ah, 有时我们就是觉得我们呢，有有房子啊，有三餐呐，还过得去。但是我们还想，我们没有，还是不喜乐，因为我们有一些，有时啊，要。贪婪嘛，要想着过得更好，跟别的朋友比喻，我们要比他更富有，说这个不是喜乐，这个不是带来给我们喜乐的。So devotees of Krishna, actual devotee, they they will they're they're not anxious about the material life. Because they know everything is temporary. 真正那个纯粹的奉献者，他不要求物质，感官享受，他也满足他这个最基本的生活。And Krishna has promised in the Bhagavad Gita, he will maintain everybody. He said, "I'm equal to everyone. I'm providing for everyone. The elephant it has to get so many kilos of food. The elephants get their food, and the little insect, the little ant, they need grains of sugar. They're also getting their food. So everyone is being provided for by the grace of Krishna." Krishna 在国家旁边讲，我照顾每个众生，不管他是啊啊大象也好，蚂蚁也好，我会照顾。我们讲天生天养，他会照顾我们，但是我们还在担忧。嗯。<咳> so sometimes people they just don't see how much Krishna is doing for them. And they're, they're, they don't appreciate. Just like little children, sometimes they may complain to their mother or father that, oh, I want this, you don't give me that, I, why you don't give me that. The little child, children, sometimes they're not, they, they don't appreciate what their mother and father is doing for them. And the child is complaining, I want more, I have to get more, you have to give me more. The child is not satisfied, so some people are like little children, and they they're like that to Krishna. That Krishna didn't give me enough; he didn't take care of me. Sometimes we feel like a child, not satisfied. Ah, is every time we go to school, our mother tells us that we don't have enough. Is not satisfied our wants. We are always 每次都要想，啊，多多啊，我一定要比人更好，所以这个就是说，不满足我们就是有一些，呃，叫做贪婪嘛。我们可以下所有的东西，也照顾我们呢、啊，有的住，有的吃，啊，这是很简单的生存，叫我们还是不满足。So it's really important. Devotees should come to the mode of goodness. They should get free of the passion and ignorance and come up to the mode of goodness. 
And on the platform of the mode of goodness, one of the qualities which we will develop there is that we will be satisfied in whatever situation we are placed. The devotee of Krishna can go anywhere. He can go to heaven, he can go to hell, or he can be liberated. He sees everywhere the same because wherever he goes, He's going to do his service to Krishna. He's going to chant Hare Krishna. If the devotee goes to Krish if the devotee goes to heaven with no Krishna consciousness, it will become like hell. But if the devotee goes to hell, if he's Krishna conscious, it will be just like heaven. <laughs> So we have to learn to control the mind and to be satisfied and accept everything as Krishna's mercy. So we have to control the mind and to be satisfied and accept everything as Krishna's mercy. Hare Krishna. Okay. Some Any more question, please? Hare Bo. Hey, Manto Siva Sieng. One question. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, for the development of uh, human society, uh, we are, you know, uh, improve our lives, lifestyle, you know, uh, from the uh, 100 years ago. Now you see everything we have. Uh, Washing machine, we have uh, air con, we have the uh, car, all this. Uh, I mean, improve uh, the, our, our lifestyle or in this direction. Uh, basically, we can name it as a mood of passion, right? Because uh, it's, it's an eagerness to make life easy, you know, the e eagerness to do uh, to some sort of develop for business also. Uh, all these uh, human society direction is a more toward the uh, passion. So, uh, this is continuous. I, I think another maybe fifty years or something. So it's not uh, basically this is not a uh, present human society development direction is uh, not a good direction. So uh, you got any uh, suggestion? Uh, of course, our devotee uh, mean uh, if I want my own practice. Yes, uh, what what we uh, follow to the Krishna guide. the human society you have uh can be you know not immediately change it but can you know uh, can help human being uh go away from uh passion mood 
then go to the good mood, I mean, good mood, you know, uh, you get my ask here, no, sorry. Uh, Hare Krishna. Yeah, true you can. Do we grant proof? Uh, 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 you can uh, need to translate, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, ma. I can translate. Okay, hello. Bridget, and then you can teach it. Don't want more translate. I'll translate. What, 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 Okay, well, I, I, I talk, I speak in Chinese, uh, for the same. Uh 就是说 商业的理论各方面的方向 当然他们不可能马上改变嘛,对吗?就是有什么建议可以把这个人类的思维发展方向,由激情这个方向改去这个良好的方向。良好的方向。善良的方向。善良的方向,对。就我们怎样,如果我们个人在讲,啊,Kr
，就是我们一定要学会杀自己。这样，你修到一个阶段了，你就对这个物质没有什么兴趣了，也没有什么追求，有什么没有什么愿望。这样，我们慢慢就从愚昧形态，慢慢提升到激情形态，就到达到我们这个阶段，就是善良形态。将我们就会满足了。We read in the Bhagavad We read in the Bhagavad Gita that by acting in the mode of passion, the result of the mode of passion is distress. We're thinking passion. Oh, that sounds very nice. We're thinking passion is something to enjoy. Passion is something to going to give us pleasure. But in the Bhagavad Gita, we're told the result of passion is distress. So, we Bhagavad Gita describes happiness in the mode of passion. In the beginning, it's like nectar, but quickly becomes just like poison. But happiness in the mode of goodness, in the beginning, it's a little bitter, it's a little difficult for us, but gradually it becomes like nectar. 他说：“我们在修这个善善良形态的阶段，有可能我们觉得有一些难、困难、啊、哦、麻烦，但是最终就好像蜜糖。” Can look make that right? Okay, so which happiness do you want? Do you want the misery or do you want the nectar? We have the choice. We have to be very careful what kind of lifestyle we adopt. If we are associating with the mode of passion, everything is for passion, then it's going to give problems. There's going to be problems. It's going to end, give us a lot of trouble. So, you have to choose what you want. We have to choose our own choice. So, you have to choose a good person or a good person. It's our own choice. Yeah, the modern world is so passionate. Everything is passion. As you said, we like material facilities and comforts and luxury things. But, they don't solve the problems of life. The problem is, of life is still there. We still have to deal with old age, disease, and death. Mara All the doctors and hospitals, they cannot save people from old age, they cannot save people from death. Okay. 
Okay, my last Charun. Chaitanya Karuna Ras. Got question on. Chaitanya Karuna. Yeah. Ah. Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. You know, actually, I have I have a, one questions. Um, it's about going back home, back to God Gate. Yeah. You now so far I have received two theories. Okay. One theory is that uh, no, that a uh, a uh, a pure Vaishnava shouldn't think of you no know, liberation. No, should, should be satisfied, no? Whether we are in hell, no, in heaven, we just focus on you know, to serve Krishna, that's all, no? We shouldn't think of no liberation. No, that, that is that, I'd say that is a Maya. No? It's the, the first theory, you no? Know? We, we, we have to think of that, that we are we are servant of Krishna. We, we want to serve Krishna only, okay? Without any motive. Even though for liberation we don't we don't have any this motive also, okay? It's the first theory. And then the second theory is that I received is that the second theory is that, you no. Know, one who knows the, the, the past times, the form of Krishna, the, the lilas of Krishna, and, and, and uh, especially during the, the last breath, if we think of Krishna, you know, we, we will go with, going back home, back to God gate, you know, like that. So that, that, that is the, the best, that is our ultimate motive, our life, the ultimate motive. So you know, these are two theories, you know, so I, I think that it's a bit contradictory, you know, because one is the, you know, we, you know, we are focused on the older service and then we don't going back home. Like that. And the other one is that, you know, we, we, we have to be liberated going back home, you know, to, after, we must stay up, uh, stay up uh, to go. To, to, to value this human body and go back home this lifetime like that. So there are two theories. It's a bit contradictory for me. If I can, Maharaj, please explain for me. The first theory again is people want liberation. Oh yeah. I, 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 I there, are, there are two theories, okay? I, I, I agree that there are two theories. One is that, no, uh, no, a devotee shouldn't think of liberation. No, we have to be satisfied with ourselves, no? Focus, focus on to, to serve Krishna, whether we are in hell, no, in oh. hell, no, in heaven, in, in hell, better, no? and as the second theory is that second theory is that no, we, we, we must value this body and go back home, no, yeah, this is the, our ultimate motive. So there are two, I think there, there are two, two, uh, two theories, you know, in this, you know, that, that I received so far, I have received, you know, so which one is correct, you know, I feel that it's a bit contradicting. <laughs> it's a bit contrary. Yeah. No one is one say that you know, if, if, you know, if we, we, we know the the the, the person of Krishna, you know, the form of Krishna, you no, know, then during our last breath we think of Krishna that the best the, the high motive of human body. We make you know, that's our focus. We have to focus. Actually my 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 uh Maybe it's also very weak also. Prabhu, uh, uh, Chaitanya Karuna when Mara Swa, you Lianka won the Tiga Sushwa. You may say, Well, Manzaka Sashi Man, ma, me, Tui, Chong Yao Su, Fong Sien Fu, ma, Fong Sien Krisa, Tui Chetuan, Tui, uh, Tao Chia Chong, the Joker, without Krisa, devotional service is Tui Chong Yao. 有些人说你在最后的时候你要想到你要走的时候要想到可以去所以卡路娜他问马拉克没有矛盾没有矛盾 There's no contradiction Krishna, you see, some people, they will understand Krishna and they understand and they, can, they will never take birth again in the material world, right? That's the result of understanding Krishna's birth and activities. And the first theory, the people, they, they don't want liberation, just like Lord Chaitanya says in Shikshastikam prayers, I just want devotional service, birth after birth. Krishna 
Samo, another one? Uh, yeah, I just want a devotional service, birth after birth. Wait. So, Lord Chaitanya, he is saying devotee doesn't desire liberation, but if Krishna gives liberation to the devotee, the devotee accepts it because devotees will accept whatever Krishna, whatever situation Krishna puts them in. Oh, Sometimes Krishna wants the devotee to go back to Godhead and sometimes Krishna wants the devotee to stay here to preach. So devotee, he, he has no desire of his own. Devotees, he is surrendered to Krishna. So he said, whatever you want, Krishna, wherever you put me, I will go there. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he said, even if I become a dog, he said, just let me be the dog in the home of a devotee. Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, because if I'm in the devotee's home, then I'll get prasadam and I will hear the chanting of the holy name. <laughs> so devotee has no desire of his own. He just said, I am I'm your servant. Wherever you want to put me, I accept. So Krishna said, one who can understand his birth and activities in this world, Again. So Krishna may take the devotee back to Godhead, but he may say to the devotee, yeah, you stay here, material world, but we'll give you a spiritual body. You will not be affected by the material energy because you're already pure devotee, so you can stay here in the material world. This, and you will see this world not like the material world, you will see this world just like the spiritual world. The, wherever the devotee goes, he can, he can see, he thinks this is the spiritual world because he sees Krishna everywhere. He sees Krishna in everything. So even though it's a material world, he's not thinking this is material world. Maharaj. You muted me. I got muted. Maharaj. Can you hear so, 
天堂还是地狱，他觉得这个就是他的灵性的世界，世界。Just like Prabhupada said, I'm not in New York. Prabhupada was sitting in New York. He said, I'm not in New York. He said, I'm always thinking of Krishna, and Krishna is always in Vrindavan. Prabhupada, 每次有时在纽约，他说我不是坐在纽约，美国，我是在跟 Krishna， 我在邻国，家园。还有什么问题吗，阿弥陀佛 ？Yes, somebody is waving their hand there. That's it. Oh, that's. 啊，等会才大家加入。还有谁啊 ？Joyce， 新加坡人。我这里有一个问题。哈利克里斯纳，嗯，马哈拉家，我有个问题。嗯，是这样，嗯。刚才讲的不是这个物质世界，是不是我们的家园？嗯，不是我们真正的家。嗯，我们那都需要回归，哎，才能够那个得到解脱嘛。但是呢，就是刚才从八清规里讲到这一这一这一段哈，就是一字不一字，嗯，去为主做啊服务。这块指的是物质世界，还是灵性世界呀？如果说，嗯，纯粹的奉献者呢，那应该是指的是像你们这样的，就是解脱了的灵魂，嗯、呃，因为他在不论是在地狱或者是在天堂，嗯、呃，他们都本身就是在就是解脱，都到哪呢都是在灵性世界，嗯、呃，但针对我们这些就是，嗯，没有就是，嗯、呃，很堕落的灵魂，嗯、呃。应该去，应该是怎么说这件这件事儿？是是是指的是是不是我们是需不需要当生就是解脱这这个这一段，就是要回归以后才能达到就是这个完美的境界？还是可以是那完毕。啊、uh, ，The Sangis Mataji from China, Mangalati Mataji asked Maharaj that in the Siksha Stakam say. Life after life, I'll be the servant of Krishna. Then I'll be go back to the spiritual world. But now, Mataji asked Maharaj whether now uh, the one definitely correct the Siksha Staka. But now we are uh, really in this material world. We are fallen soul. Uh, how to just to Inspire and transform us to the spiritual world. That is the power of Krishna consciousness. The more you practice hearing and chanting, you will see the spiritual world. Mara said, "You are in you are in the Krishna world. You are following the Krishna world. You are focused. You can see the Krishna world." When we become the, when we become faithful or strict in our practice of sadhana, woman the great fun shows in him yenga. This is how you can gather that we are not in the world. This is the real world. We see Krishna without without the world. Right, you. When we practice good hearing and chanting, we will see this material world is the spiritual world, and you can see Krishna everywhere in everything. But you have to see with the eye of knowledge. We see through the scriptures, not just with our material vision. Mara said, "You are also very serious." 专注念诵 k r i s h a 按照这个规范去做，你就可以觉悟到这个 k r i s h a 是无处不在的。还有，你可以看到 k r i s h a 在我们的呃这个和这个呃我们的巴格瓦达和这个巴瓦维达里面，我们可以看到 k r i s h a 
不是只有，就是说我们修啊，做奉献服务。So we have to keep that desire. We have to want to see Krishna. We have to want to be with Krishna. We have to lament that I'm a conditioned soul and I'm in the material, I'm in the clutches of Maya. Krishna said, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, material energy is very difficult to overcome, but anybody who surrenders up unto me can easily cross beyond it. 这个物质世界是很难超越的，但是你也是臣服我，你就很很容易得到我，到我的灵性世界。So surrender means to take up regular practice of sadhana bhakti based on hearing and chanting. 臣服就是要专注念诵、听课、做所有的规范。Then you start to see Krishna. You start to become Krishna conscious. You see this world is not the material world. You see it's all Krishna's creation. 慢慢的逐渐你就可以看到Krishna的,它是无处不在,天存万有无处不在,你就可以看到,你觉得这个就是灵性世界。Material means we're thinking this is mine, we're thinking I am this body, this belongs to me. That's the nature.故事就是我们觉得这个是我的。we have to get rid of the false ego. The, we have to purify the false ego. We have to develop the pure ego. False ego, we're thinking I'm the body, I'm the controller. Pure ego is to understand I am the servant of Krishna. <laughs> Any more? Any more? Any other question? Any? Hey, hey. Where's your name? Where's Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, we accept my humble obeisances. Hare Krishna, you should my, my obeisances. Guru Maharaj, I, I am not able to influence the family, the parents, and brother sister to become Krishna conscious, Krishna <laughs> devotee, and or become vegetarian. Uh, so it's like a feel in life. So what what should we do to help them like to have better life? In next life? Yes. Yes, Yes. To try to preach to the family members is the most difficult thing to do. That's why usually preachers, when they start preaching, they'll go away from the family, they'll go away from their friends and family, and they'll preach in places where nobody knows them. <laughs> Do 
，就是很多奉献者就离开家庭去别个地方传教。People know you. They say, oh, I know, I know you. Look, I know you. I know what you like. I know you like this, and they won't take you very seriously because they've already seen you and they've got impressions of you before you were a devotee, and and so it's very difficult to preach to people. Who are your family and who've known you for a long time? Ah, 就是你家里的人，他，因为你你小小到大了，你自己的本性他们都明白，啊，你很难去堵住他们。And especially your mother and father, because your mother and father will think of you as their little girl, and you're their daughter, and so they teach you. They don't like you to teach them because they're senior to you. So it's really difficult to preach like that to the family member. The best thing you can do to help them is just to be a nice example yourself, and to be sense controlled and to be peaceful, and always to be have good habits and to be well mannered and well behaved. 最好是你要保存呢一个好的行为，给他们看到。Uh, 对他们好，谦卑，宽容。And so that means I just leave it lah. I just leave it, isn't it? Just leave it alone. Huh? Ah, uh, but they like they like my uh, prasadam. Oh, that that's very good. <laughs> very good. If they like your prasadam, that's very good. Yeah, I always try that, but they don't eat prasadam. I just try when I every time I visit them, I just try to make prasadam for them. So I think this is the way. Uh, this is the only way I can do. Yes, very good. Yes. That's very nice. And because they are meat eater, then they will cook for me. But because they are parents, I cannot say no. You cannot. So only thing is, they will separate the walk, separate the pot, and cook vegetarian for me. Oh, that's nice of them. Yeah. Yeah. So that my is what he always, because he yeah. So that my is a chef, ma. 说他带本沙丹给他，他们喜欢吃，但他妈就煮肉给他，但是他没有吃，他就用有一自己一套的锅煮本沙丹。Very good. This is the way. Give them per shadow, the only way. Yeah, this is the only way. Correct. Okay. Okay. 还有谁吗 ？Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Yasoda Mai. Okay. Johnny, go. Jody. No, I don't have a question today. Oh. Thank you for asking. Okay, so very nice to be with all of you tonight. Thank you for spending time with me. And Give us a blessing, Maharaj. We encourage all of you. Yeah, try to keep up the chanting. So I make a point that about one or two months, I will invite Maharaj to grace our group, Malaysian. You know, now are very uh, more people. You know, there are some your uh, Indian Prabhu Mataji also come. So hope our family will maintain. Even the pandemic is very serious in Malaysia. We hope Maras give us a blessing, and we are keep close together as a family. Yeah, pandemic is serious everywhere. It's serious here in India also. <laughs> very serious. My goodness. How long we are stuck in that, Maipo? I'm one, one and, and a half year, two yeah, years. Yeah, one and a half years. Since January last year, I came. So one and a half years. Yeah. And 
No end. Don't see any future. You know, if, you, if they know you've come from India, nobody wants you. They say, don't come here. We don't want people from <laughs> India. <laughs> Krishna loves you. Krishna loves you. Malaysian devotee loves you, Maharaj. <laughs> Wherever you go, they don't want you if you're from India. They say, don't come here. No. So, you just try to stay here. Anyway, anyway, life is going on. you put your foot, your lotus feet, every, everywhere is purified, Maharaj. <laughs> yeah, we try. Anyway, getting a lot of opportunities for preaching using this internet and Zoom. More preaching than I usually do. I never give so many classes, but here, you know. So How many classes you give today, Maharaj? Morning? Yeah, I give, class. I give the morning, I give here. Uh, today I just gave these two. I gave uh, three yesterday, and, oh. and tomorrow three. Fantastic. Like that. There you go. It's a lot Prabhu, of... I have Jaya Kumar here, uh, who, is take, who has taken hiring from Nashima Maharaj. Would like to say a couple of words uh, to Maharaj. Hey, Jaya, Jaya Kumar, where is he? Hey, Maharaj, see, introduce him. Hare Krishna Maharaj, can you Jaya is here. Uh, from JB. Please accept my humble obeisances, Maharaj. I can't see Maharaj. Where is she from? From JB. I, I'm from from JB, but I, I'm from Todu right now, Maharaj. Oh, you're from Todu right now. Yeah, he's working in the Sunway Hospital in front of Todu. Oh, Maharaj, engineer. Oh, okay. So, yeah. What is that still being constructed? Is it? Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, very nice. Hare no, actually, Ma Maharaj came in my dream uh, one month ago. Maharaj came in my dream. Oh, wonderful. What the Upper Maharaj in the dream tell you? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what Maharaj in the dream told you? Okay, actually, in my, in my dream, Maharaj came there because I was having some issues. I was in overseas. I, I had some issues. And I saw Maharaj. Maharaj came there. I, I followed in the feet of Maharaj. I was crying, then Maharaj was consoling me, he said, it's no issue, no issue, it's okay, all will be fine. Then Maharaj, Maharaj asked me to take some prasadam, and also he gave me Srimad Bhagavadam class personally. So that is, oh, my, oh. That is my dream, actually. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. great soul. Maharaj, give yeah. you in a dream, you know, bless you. Very yeah. fortunate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So dreams, Prabhupada used to say, dreams are real. These kind of dreams are real. When you dream about Krishna and Krishna's devotees, it's not ordinary. It's, it's not just a dream, but it's actual real. Yeah. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Okay, thank you. Today you meet Krishna. Krishna arranged. You meet Maharaj, very auspicious. Yes, I found out in 2000, at that time, our Malaysian Maharaj, he was a Brahmachari in the Muntaka Center. So Maharaj came for a Radhayatra, I met Maharaj personally, yes. And I, I was uh, 11 or 12 years old at that time. Oh, 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 so yeah. That was a very long time ago. Muntaka. Good. Thank you, Maharaj. I need your blessings always. Okay. Hare Krishna.
Krishnair Mathir Vastu, may Krishna bless you. May your mind always be on Krishna. Mano Ahu is the Dana Vidas. Please open your mind. Dana Vidas. Arigo. Dana Vidas. I don't know who. Yeah, Dana Vidas. Maharaj, your disciple? What's the name? Dana Dana Veer. Yeah, from Singapore. Yeah, Dana Veer. From Singapore, yeah. That's Karuna's nephew. Karuna's, Karuna Nandita's nephew or something like that? Yeah, Karuna's nephew, Dana Veer. Yeah. Initiated. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Prabhu. How are you, Dana Veer Prabhu? I'm um, I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm uh, working part time now. Oh really? Yeah. What are you doing? And yeah, uh, I'm distributing uh, trace together tokens. Yeah, the trace together tokens like uh, to to trace the where the public goes, so it's easier to maintain uh, maintain the the or how to say um the covid situation uh, so yeah so that's what i do okay how about the baking is that still going on oh no that that, that, that is a uh, stop stop a long time ago really much. oh okay a bit difficult at this time to do so, it and, and i'm also uh, currently trying to get uh, my driver's license. Uh. Oh yeah, you're learning driving. Uh -huh. mm, and, uh, and also going to the temple when I have my off day. So Okay, good. It's because my, my work I have to... Uh, it's not every Saturday it's off. It's, uh, sometimes on the weekdays, sometimes weekends. So whenever I can get off on the Saturday, so I'll uh, join the program there. Okay, good. But in, in Singapore, they, they only give lectures. Uh, they, they don't allow uh, kirtans for now. No kirtan? Oh, yeah. Just, Just lectures and prakadam. Okay. But in the hall, in the, in the temple room? Oh, yes. In the in the temple. Mm -hmm. Okay. And does that go up and does uh, the Gopals, is that closed? Oh yes, closed really. Yeah, they can't they can't get the the business because of the the COVID nineteen. So there was a lockdown period then they can can't maintain the the restaurant so they closed. Yeah. Okay. Guru Maharaj, I have a little bit of question. Okay. Uh, sometimes due to work, we uh, not able to sleep uh, until about 12. And then after 12, not able to sleep. And then if we chant, does it consider that is the next day chanting? If we finish the 16 round after 12? Does it consider that is the next day chanting? We are sometimes due to work, we have to sleep late uh, after 12, then we couldn't sleep anymore. Okay, yeah, you consider... Uh, does it consider the next day chanting? Yes, can do, yeah, you can, sit, you can consider that next day chanting, yes. Okay, thank you. Are you working so late? Uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Oh. Where She's a tutor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the next day chanting. Yes, Hare uh, Krishna. Sometimes I work very late as well. But sometimes I was told if you want to chant at between 12 to after 12, might as well you chant between 2 to 4 before Mangala Ariti time. 
and go to bed. Is that a good practice? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a very good practice, but you know, maybe you cannot avoid it. I don't know. What are you doing to, to uh, you, you're up so late? Online you? teaching takes a lot of effort. Oh, I see. Like streaming. So sometimes work gets me. No, no, no. I, I would, I'll, I'll try to wake up early for my chanting. It's just that somebody told me that chanting 12 to 2 is the time of ignorance and you won't get much out of it. So might as well you do it before my clarity. <laughs> yeah, but. If you can sleep before midnight, you get a better rest. When you sleep after midnight, you don't get so much good rest. It's, they say an, an hour before midnight is like two hours after midnight. But Maharaj, these eyes cannot sleep now. <laughs> it's now. It's 10 o'clock now. Okay. Yeah, I know it's a practice. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, you have to be practical. You have, uh, yeah, you have to do what you have to do. You have a job or something. You have duties, so you have to do it. Yeah. But somehow or other, we get the chanting done. If you're chanting in, in the early, very early morning after midnight, okay, no problem. There are no hard and fast rules in chanting the holy name. You can chant any time, in any place also. So Lord Chaitanya is very merciful. He's given us a very merciful program that we can chant any time, any place, and anybody can chant, and we all get benefit from it. Krishna Guru Maharaj. Hmm? My mother had no say before. In dream, uh, Baba came by helicopter to bring her back. I said, through that, I was so go back by helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how we cook. We read in the Srimad Bhagavatam, we read about airplanes coming to take like Dhruva Maharaj, back to the spiritual world. The, the, Yama, the Vishnu Dutas, they came in the airplane and they took Dhruva Maharaj and Dhruva, Dhruva Maharaj's mother also. They went back to Godhead in, in, the spirit, in, in the airplanes. They went to Vaikuntha. Special airplanes came to take them. Oh, the name is true. My mother is not true. Hare Krishna, Maharaj, uh, just a question. Uh, if uh, they, our family, our son, our daughter, or whoever, they don't do chanting. So when we have finished our rounds, uh, like 16 rounds, can we chant for them? Extra rounds? Yes, very good. Yes, you like to chant for them? Very good. Why not? And can I? Yes. That's what my Matanji is doing. After her 16 rounds, she will continue, continue you know, to chant for my son. Oh, she's very merciful. Very kind of her. Yes. Mm. Good. Thank you very much, Maharaj, for giving us the class today and your association with us. We miss you a lot. <laughs> Krishna will, with Krishna's mercy, the COVID will be over and we will be able to meet you again in Malaysia. Yes. yes. Well, it's very nice, well, very nice like this, to have so many people. Even if I come there to China, if I come there, there's not so many people, but here tonight, so many people. How many we got? 39? 30? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30.
30 plus, yeah. 32 uh, son lever di. Jintian. 32 to 33. Jintian lai de sanshitor ren, jindan han hao. Wo lai Malaysia de shuha bo fei yo namator ren. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, woman Jufu Niman, one an, Shishinin. Sisi Maharaj. Hari Kusi Maharaj, take care. Hari Bo, Shula Prabhupada, Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Maharaj. Shula Prabhupada. Thank you, Maharaj. Hari Krishna. Thank you, Maharaj.